Hey, how's it going, guys? And welcome back to yet another very quiet start to an episode. I've noticed this place doesn't really have any music. Don't know whether I like it so much. But anyways, welcome back to another episode and our first episode of our... I don't know what I was going to call this series then, but I welcome back to our Snakewood Nuzlocke. And we have had your votes and you've pretty much all gone for the same one. You've all decided we're going to go for the one which has got ill health. So let me just have a see. Spinning slowly on its axis. Um, gently. So we're not going for the fire one, which I assume. So we've gone. Everyone's decided to go for this one. An air of ill health about it. Ugh. Really? We're getting a Paris? Uh, great. I don't think I've ever started a Nuzlocke with a Paris before. Um, ooh, what do I even call this thing? Um, let's call you. Hmm. I'm gonna call you. Oh, that's not... I don't like the buttons. There we go. I don't like... All the buttons are backwards. Ugh, all the buttons are backwards. I'm going to call it Joni. Wait, why have we now got music? I want to see this horrible level 5 Paris, which is a bug grass type, <laughs> of course. Uh, level 5 serious nature holding an orange berry with scratch. Great. Great. And we have nothing. Great. Ugh. I can't say I'm thrilled. <laughs> I guess we can leave. Ah, help me, someone! Oh, it's Professor Birch. Ah, you over there! Please help me! Do I really want to? Do I really want to? What is... I'm so, like... Why does that character look like an old man? Zombie Kid Liam has a... A bull, boil basaw. Oh, we definitely need to turn the tech speed up. We definitely need to turn the tech speed up because that is hella slow. Zombie has been defeated. Hmm. Go. The zombie crumbled into dust. Phew. Thanks, Brandon. How, oh god, oh no, it's one of these games, it's a game, I'm never going to get used to this, put it one way, a game that talks, I'm talking, how do you know my name? It's me, Professor Birch, we've known each other for years, what's wrong? Oh, right, you see, I woke up in the ruined town of the south of here, but I realise I've lost my memory, so it's true, Litterroot has been destroyed, that was our home, Brandon. I, I don't know if you remember. Was anyone there? Your older brother? My daughter? No, I don't remember them. I, I don't remember them, though. Do you remember anything? No. You must have hit your head really bad. Don't you even remember the zombie plague? I think I'd remember something like that, but no. But you were there. Uh, but you... But, but you were there as the zombies... And the zombie Pokemon tore through the town to shreds, right? Now you come to mention it, I do remember a zombie Pokemon, but that's about it. Well, I dare say your memories will find their way back to you now. Now follow me. We've got to get to the nearest safe place before the zombies come back. Thinking emoji. What is going on? Uh, Pokemon Senators are great. Can you use Senators for free? Okay. 
So we could heal. That's nice. Is there anything upstairs? Nope. The link service. Oh. The link services are still there. So they keep guard of the Pokemon Center. Uh. Press the battery rate for you, set beyond route 103 to the north. Ah, okay. So we've got our Pokemon guy who's going to give us a. Was that a light potion? A light potion. So that's going to be a Podion. Noise. Okay, route 103. Oh, wow, there's a big rock over there. Okay, what's in the grass? Pooch. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of grinding. Oh, it used, it used my orange berry. Are you kidding me? Damn, I'm definitely doing a bit of grinding. I was going to say, I wouldn't mind doing a little bit of grinding just because I know, yes, this is a ROM hack. And we know what ROM hacks are like. So I'm going to probably get to level 7 here. Just so we're safe. And we don't have no unexpected things coming for us. Uh, I know what games like this, like this, Dark Rising, that kind of thing. Everything. There we go. Oh, we learnt a new... We learnt Stun Spore. I've noticed we move way too fast. I would like to get some running shoes as soon as possible. I would like to get some running shoes as soon as possible. A Wingle. Right, let's see what see the professor wants. Ah, there you are! Professor, what are you doing here? Even when zombies besieged our homes and our entire families vanished without a trace, there's still time for science! Uh, I have made a fantastic discovery, you see. Never before have Pokemon been known to breed, uh, to breed in the wild, and yet there is a nest here, complete with an egg. Ooh. So this is normally in the like in Omega Ruby and Alpha you've got the pond thing. So this is interesting. There's an egg. Right! Why is it worth calling me about? Take the egg, Brandon. It's common knowledge that eggs only hatch when taken around with other Pokemon. But what about the parent Pokemon? I don't see any. Do you? Wait, so when you don't see a parent? So if you see an egg in the wild and you don't see its parent, this game is telling me to pick it up and keep it. Don't think that's how the world of nature works, but okay. Well, that's not the only reason why I brought you here. I also wanted to speak to you about the zombies. Seems like no one wants to talk about anything else. Yes, quite. Well, I know I don't remember, but do you remember your brother? Three years ago, he beat the Pokemon League. That was a really stupid question. Yeah, well, I wanted you to go and find him. Find him? He and my daughter, May, set off west a few weeks ago to look for the source of the zombie infection. I haven't heard, uh, I haven't heard hide nor hair of them since. So why do we need them? Other than the fact that they're the ones, uh, that one's your brother and the other's my daughter. Your brother is the Pokemon champion. If anyone can beat the back the zombies, it's him. This same guy who vanished without a trace when he went to beat the zombies back. My plan is to have a certain, uh, is to, may have certain flaws, but it's the best we've got. So, will you go? All right, all right, I'll go west. Go to Petalburg. There may be survivors who saw where they went. Okay, what'll be you doing if, while I risk my life? He has a good point. I'll be trying to reconnect the old PC network so I can try and contact you, uh, contact survivors. Oh, okay. And take this. The Poképhone, okay. What's the Poképhone? I can contact you uh, through that Poképhone if necessary. I might do that if I can find a lead. Okay. All right, I'll see you around, Brandon. Thinking emoji. So we've got an egg. So we've got an egg. Okay. Uh, what could this... Uh, what could be in it? A Pokemon egg of... By an admirable means. Yeah. That's what I'd call it. So it's a disease type. And we've got little Johnny over here. And uh, we 
we've got ourselves no Pokeballs yet. Um, when do we get Pokeballs? Question mark. I would like to get some Pokeballs. Do we? Please don't tell me we have to buy them. I love how she looks like a zombie. Wait, why is there a zombie just shopping? Ah, vending machines! That's cool. Uh, I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, there's a zombie on the other side of the counter. Wait, we have to buy? Oh no, oh no. Alright, I'm gonna buy myself 10 Pokeballs. A zombie liver. Is that what it's called in here? Here we go. Zombie liver. That heals 50. So we're getting to a pinch. We've got some items. Now we've got Pokeballs, which means our Nuzlocke challenge does begin. Now I don't think yeah, we can't go down here. So we can't... I don't think we can get an encounter down there, though. But we've got a Route 103 encounter. So... Yeah, it's a Poochiena. I don't know, please. I didn't think we'd one-shot. Okay, well, I'm not getting a Route 103 encounter because we one-shot it. Wait, who are you? What do you want? Okay. Oh, she does want to speak to us. So, you're Professor Birch's new pet trainer. What? Gotta go running his errands, has he? <laughs> he must be a pretty weak wild a uh, weak willed, but I suppose I could use the experience from the from trashing you. Wait, what? What? Death caller. What a trainer class. Why are we fighting someone? Sneasel? <gasps> I would have loved to sneeze. Um, why do we have to fight you? Out of here! Why do we have to buy someone already? Bah! You got lucky, that's all. I suppose I ought to tell you my name, so you can tremble the next time you hear it. It's Alicia. Now, let me pass. Okay, girl. Well, there's Alicia. Whoever Alicia is. But apparently we got to tremble at her name every time we see her. Route 102. We've got a brand new encounter over here, so let's get it over here. An Ophius Pokeball. Oh. Now, my issue is I can't actually hit this thing, so... I'll just stay in the ball. A Zigzagoon. A tiny raccoon Pokemon. So this is our second encounter. Uh, let's call you... I'm going to call you Klein. In fact... Klein. So we got Klein the Zigzagoon. Adamant Nature. That's not bad. I'll take an Adamant Nature. Um, I'm probably going to do some grinding with little Klein here. I do apologize if you don't like the little grinding montages I'm going to have to do. I'm just going to... I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. So let me get you up to a decent level. Because I don't want to have to come up against a mar- Oh. Okay, let's not. <laughs> oh, let's not. Well, you were short-lived. Well, bye, Klein. I didn't expect to get one shot. That was my bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and watch that. <laughs> Rip Klein. Didn't even last two minutes. Hello there. Uh, what is a poly hag? What the heck? A rotmander? And it crumbled to us. Thanks, I died for each you know they'll tell if it worked for you. Please take this. Oh, running shoes. Finally, I can stop using the speed up one. 
So, if we're gonna fight all these, a gravel? Okay. The zombie crumbled to dust. Munch, chomp, chew. This zombie is clearly eating. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. I don't really want to see what. Um, let me change that tech speed. Oh, what border should we have? Let's have this snazzy red border. I'm gonna go back and heal because I know what these games are like. There's always someone waiting to fight you. I would have used that zigzagoon. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Right, I can. I need to remember the speed up button works now. Uh, the running shoes button works. So let's grab us those. I know there's normally a trainer here. A broken. Oh, that sounds so sad. One of the many plagues that Halloween left. What's a broken heart? I mean, I guess a plague would leave a broken heart. Oh, there's two trainers. But whatever these guys that. Ooh. That's scary. A Rotmander. Uh, not a Rotmander. A, a Bulbasaur. Right, please don't be anything. Uh, there's no bogey center. Oh, wait, there's a bag. A med kit. <gasps> Bless. Bless creators. Flesh. An oozle. <gasps> That's so cool. That's actually so cool. An oozle. Hello. This woman appears to have had her leg nard off. Which accounts why is her corpse is still on the chair. Would you loot her corpse? No. Uh, yeah. Cool. I guess I just kind of left it. Wait. Why are you... How are you at the front of the party? What? Let me give you the leftovers of this lovely lady's corpse. Hopefully that will help us out dearly. Do Let me heal up with the med kit. Is anything else going on here? I was hoping there were going to be. This the gym. Is it possible to enter the, the doors are firmly shut by skulls? You're, you're Brandon. How do you know that? You look like your brother. Are you going after him? Yeah. Then will you bring peace and put the dead back in their graves? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I believe in you. Your brother and his girlfriend were heading to Pedalberg Woods when they passed through here. Now please, go and... Ah, they're here! Quick, run for it! I'll hold them off as long as I can! Wait, you're gonna hold off? Ah. I said run, Braden! Don't, don't worry about me! Ah! Um... Where did this guy go? Other than I expected a body. Wait, what's this? A supply crate. Wait, what? Ah, oh, this is that's so cheesy. Okay, that was interesting. The podions actually crashed me. That's great. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, oh, hello. Um, are you another? Okay, right. Our Route 104 encounter. Let's get it. I need encounters now. Route 104! Is it 104? I think it's 104. We got a worm pull. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stand the ball, worm pull. There we go. We got ourselves a worm pull. Now, I don't know, obviously, what it's going to become. Uh, let's call you. I want to call you Quash. We've got Quashy the Wormpull. I'm very interested to see what Wash, uh, Quashy here. I was going to call you Washy. Uh, the fact that an egg can go up from is kind of funny. Right, let, let me. I really want to heal this thing. I want to do a little bit, an actual bit of grinding with him. With little Quash here. 
I wouldn't mind getting you to evolve. I can't... What level does it evolve? Is it level 6? 6 and then 10? I really would like to use you, but I'm too scared of losing another Mon, if I'm being completely honest. I need the Mons. We, we have two bug types. We have such a flying disadvantage. And fire. <laughs> there we go. Of course you're getting those XPs. I'm going to have to do this every now and again. Like, just quickly do... That's scary. I mean, I know it's level whatever, three, but it's still kind of scary. Level five. At least want to get it to a cascoon. Here we go. Little Quashy here is evolving. I did cut the, the little bit of grinding out just because it was getting uh, hella tedious. I think we're getting a silcoon, aren't we? Is it silcoon? It's a Silku, so it does mean we're getting a Beauty Fly. I wouldn't have mind the Psychic typing from a Dust Ox, but I'm not upset. And it learnt Harden. Of course it did. I want to get you to evolve. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get you to fully evolve. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And avoid the Flying Types in the, in the process, because Flying Types are still hella scary. Scary. I just want to get you to evolve. Fully evolve. Here it is. Finally. Finally got Quashy up to level 10. Took us a little while. But he's finally level 10. Little Quashy. Little Quashy. So we finally got ourselves a beauty fly. I did want to get this today. Preferably. Beauty fly. I wonder if you get any... No! Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. I didn't learn the move. I clicked the wrong button. Eee, baby range. Baby, baby range. Alright, let's see if there's anything else going on. We won't be heading into... Oh, this is going to suck. This is going to... Why do you have level 11? This is why I did the grinding. At a level 11 already. What? Let's check the beach anyway. I didn't really check the beach. Uh, let's see. Mr. Briny's not here. Okay. Okay. Cool. So the beach didn't have anything for us to see. Anyways, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap up today's episode right here. Uh, we'll head into Battleburg Woods. We'll try and get to Rustboro City in the next episode. So if you're hyped for that, make sure you hit that like button down below. We have got a nice start to the team. Unfortunately, we didn't have a Zigzagoon on the team. That would be really nice as well, but never mind. Because we do have a significant weakness to flying and fire type. So let's fingers crossed we don't come up against any of those. But anyways, I will catch you guys on Friday for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Snake Wood Nuzlocke. Bye for now.